Dangerous navigation occasioning death is an offense under Section 52B of the Crimes Act, 1900, which carries a maximum penalty of 10 years in prison. To establish the offense, the prosecution must prove beyond reasonable doubt that 1. You were navigating a vessel. 2. You were involved in an impact causing the death of another person. And 3. You were under the influence of alcohol or a drug or drugs, or were navigating at a dangerous speed, or were navigating in a dangerous manner. A vessel means a watercraft of any description that is used, or capable of being used, as a means of transportation on water. An impact is that which occurs through 1. The vessel overturning or running aground, 2. An impact with any object or person and the vessel, 3. An impact with another vessel, 4. An impact with anything attached to the vessel, 5. Falling from or being ejected or thrown from the vessel, and 6. An impact between any object, including the water or ground, and a person due to the person protruding from the vessel. The maximum penalty increases to 14 years in prison where the offense occurred in circumstances of aggravation, which is where 1. You had a prescribed concentration of alcohol, PCA, in your breath or blood. 2. You exceeded the speed limit. 3. You were attempting to avoid a pursuit by a police officer. Or 4. You were every substantially impaired by a drug or drugs. A PCA is a reading of at least 0.15. You are presumed to have been under the influence of alcohol where you had the PCA in your breath or blood. A certificate of your alcohol or drug concentration is admissible as evidence as long as the analysis occurred within two hours after the impact, unless you are able to prove on the balance of probabilities that the concentration was lower at the time of impact. A defense to the charge is that the death was not attributable in any way to one, being under the influence of alcohol or drugs, two, the speed at which you navigated or three, the manner in which you navigated. Duress, necessity and self-defense are legal defenses to the charge. In the event you are able to raise evidence of a legal defense, the onus then shifts to the prosecution to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the defense does not apply in the circumstances of the case. You are entitled to an acquittal if the prosecution is unable to do this. Going to court. Call Sydney Criminal Lawyers on 9261881 to arrange a free first conference. Watch our latest video here.